во имя Отца и Сына и Святого Духа. Аминь. Обручается раба Божия Ксения, раба Божия Анна, во имя Отца и Сына и Святого Духа. Аминь. Let us pray to the Lord. O Lord, their God, who is the company, the servant of the patriarch Abraham to Mesopotamia, when he was sent to his spouse and wife for his Lord Isaac, and who by means of the drawing of water just revealed to them that he should betroth Rebekah, do thou thyself bless the betroth of these thy servants, John and Xenia, and confirm the promise that has been made by them. Establish them in the holy union which is from thee, for thou in the beginning hast made them male and female, and by thee the woman is joined unto the man as a helpmeet and succession for the gener generation of man. Therefore, O Lord your God, who has sent forth thy truth upon thy inheritance and thy promise unto thy servants, our fathers, thine elect from generation to generation, do thou thyself look upon thy servant, John, and the hand makes in you, and confirm the betrothal in faith, in oneness of mind, in truth, and in love. For thou, O Lord, hast shown that a pledge should be given and confirmed in all things. By a ring, power was given into, unto Joseph in Egypt. By a ring, Daniel was glorified in the land of Babylon. By a ring was the uprightness of Tamar revealed. By a ring our heavenly Father showed compassion upon his son, for he saith, Put a ring on his right hand and, and, and kill the fatted cow, calf, and let us eat and rejoice. Thine own right hand, O Lord, are Moses in the Red Sea. For by thee the true word of the heavens was established, and the earth firmly founded, and the right hand of thy servant shall be blessed by thy mighty word, and by thine uplifted arm. Wherefore, O Master, do thou thyself now bless us, putting on of rings with thy heavenly benediction. And may thine angel go before them all the days of their life. For, for thou art he that blesseth and sanctifieth all things. And unto thee do we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever, and unto the ages of ages.
Just like seeing you have a good and unconstrained will and a firm intention to take upon thyself this man, John, whom thou seest here before thee. Thou hast not promised thyself to any other man? No. Благословенно Царство Царь Сына и Святого Духа, ныне и Пресной во веки веков. Love for, 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 another, 
love for one another and the bond of peace, long live offspring, grace upon their children, and an unfading crown of glory. Count them worthy to see their children's children. Preserve their bed undefiled and give them of the dew of heaven from above and of the fatness of the earth. Fill their houses with wheat, wine, and oil, and with every good thing, that they may give in turn to them that are in need, bestowing also unto those here present, with them all petitions which are for salvation. For thou art a God of mercies and compassions and love for mankind, and unto thee do we send up glory together with thy Father who is without beginning, and thou most holy, good, and life-creating Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Let us pray to the Lord. Blessed are thou, the Lord your God, thou priest of mystical and pure marriage, and giver of the law of the marriage of the body, preserver of incorruption, and good provider of, of things of life, the same, O Master, who in the beginning is great man, and disappoint him as a king of of creation did say, It is not good that man should be alone upon the earth. Let us make a helper fit for him, and taking one of his ribs, this make woman, whom seeing Adam said, This now is bone of my bones, and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, for she was taken out of man. For this reason a man shall leave his father and mother, and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. And what therefore God has joined together, let no man put asunder, do thou thyself now, O Master, Lord our God, send down thy heavenly grace upon these thy servants, John and Senior, and grant unto this thine handmaid, be in all things subject unto the man, and to this thy servant, to be the head of the wife, that they may live according to thy will. Bless them, O Lord our God, as thou dost bless Isaac and Rebekah. Bless them, O Lord our God, as thou dost bless Jacob and all the patriarchs. Bless them, O Lord your God, as thou dost bless Joseph and Asenath. Bless them, O Lord your God, as thou dost bless Moses and Sephora. Bless them, O Lord your God, as thou dost bless Joshua and Anna. Bless them, O Lord your God, as thou dost bless Zechariah and Elizabeth. Preserve them, O Lord your God, as thou dost preserve Noah and the ark. Preserve them, O Lord your God, as thou dost preserve Jonah in the belly of the whale. Preserve them, O Lord your God, as thou dost preserve the three holy children from the fire, sending down upon them dew from heaven. And let that gladness come upon them which the blessed Helen had when she found the precious cross. Remember them, O Lord our God, as thou dost remember Enoch, Shem, and Elijah. Remember them, O Lord our God, as thou dost remember thy holy forty martyrs sending down upon the crowns from heaven. Remember, O God, our God, the parents who have nurtured them for the prayers of parents make firm the foundations of houses. Remember, O Lord our God, thy servants, the groom's man and the bridesmaid who have come together in this joy. Remember, O Lord our God, thy servant John and thy handmaid Senior, and bless them. Grant them fruit of the womb, fair children, and oneness of soul and body. Exalt them as the cedars of Lebanon. And as a well-cultured vine, bestow upon them offspring in number, like under full years of grain, that having sufficiency in all things, they may abound in every work that is good and acceptable unto thee. And let them see their children's children like a newly planted olive tree, round upon their table, that finding favor in thy sight, they may shine in the stars of heaven unto thee, our God, and, unto, and together with thee be glory. Dominion, honor, and worship to thy Father who is, who is without beginning, and to thy life-giving Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Let us pray to the Lord. O holy God, who is for man from the dust, and from his rib did fashion woman, and is joined her unto him as a help meet for him, for it seemed good to thy majesty that man should not be alone on the earth. Do thou thyself now, O Master, stretch thou thy hand from thy holy dwelling place, and join together this thy servant, John, and this thy handmaid, Senior. For by thee is a man joined unto a woman. Unite them in the, in the oneness of mind, crown them into one flesh, granting the fruit of the womb, 
and the, and the gain of their children. For thine is the might, and thine are the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The servant of God, John, is crowned to the handmaid of God, saying in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and we stand behind the Lord. O Lord our God, crown them with glory and honor. Gospel is born in our love and chase to be shine. O Lord our God, crown them with glory and honor. Lord here premudres, Lord Thank you. 
attend, let us listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be unto all. The reading of the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Let us attend. At that time, there was a marriage in Cana of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. And both Jesus and his disciples were called to the marriage. And when there was not sufficient wine, the mother of Jesus saith unto him, They have no wine. Jesus saith unto her, Woman, what have I to do with thee? Mine hour is not yet come. His mother said to the servants, Whatsoever he saith unto you, do it. And there were set there six water pots of stone after the manner of the purifying of the Jews, holding two or three firkins of bees. Jesus said unto them, Fill the water pots with water, and they filled them up to the brim. And he saith unto them, Draw some out now, and bear it unto the governor of the feast, and they bear it. When the governor of the feast had tasted the wine, the water that was made wine, not knowing from whence it had come, but the servants who drew the water knew, the governor of the feast called, in the bridegroom, and said unto him, Every man at the beginning does set forth good wine, and when men have drunk well, then that which is worse, but thou hast kept the good wine unto now. This beginning of miracles did Jesus in Canaan of Galilee, and made manifest in his glory, and his disciples believe on him. Oh 
Возьмите свечку. Bless also these thy servants who by thy prophet. 